Hello and welcome to another episode of DrER.TV. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos. Hello everybody, as promised, here's an EKG of a STEMI patient, an SD segment elevation MI. And we're actually gonna watch a video of the EKG instead of doing it on paper. Um, in this video, we start here on lead one. You can see that lead one already is very abnormal. You got your QRS complex going like this, but you see already the ST is depressed. If you throw a line through the base of the TP segment and across, you see this whole segment depressed. The T wave is inverted. So ST depression with an inversion on one. And if we can peak out of AVL, which is also a very lateral lead, you can see the depression very similar to that, almost like an inverted check mark. You can see those uh, correspond there. And then we're gonna go ahead and look down at further at the EKG. You can see lead two. Now lead two is very impressive. You can see a gross ST segment elevation. If you throw the line through the TEP segment over here, you can see that this ST is at least two boxes above where it starts kind of concaving and go up. That T wave is very pronounced, so a hyper acute T wave as well. And then if we look further in the video, you see lead lead three same thing very elevated um very elevated lead here moving forward you can see um avf which is also an inferior lead also very elevated you see avo which we talk about the depression of the sc7 with the inverted t wave uh, we look further down the ekg and you can see that um, here lead V1, a little bit one box ST depression there with inverted T wave, two or three boxes depression here with inverted T wave. And then it normalizes in V3, V4, V5, V6, maybe an ST elevation there too. Now V6 remember is very lateral in the chest, so you get another uh, ST elevation. Now this is the kind of EKG that a nurse can show it to you and say, hey, look at this EKG and you go, you don't check rate, rhythm, axis, and all that. You just look at it and say, this is a heart attack, activate STEMI, then you go and see the patient. Um, it's because this is very characteristic. This is the kind of EKG you act on immediately to go see that patient and figure out what's going on with them. Uh, so in, in summary, you have ST elevations, one, um, actually ST depression one, you get ST elevations two, three, and AVF, so an inferior ST segment elevation with reciprocal changes on the lateral leads one and AVL. And uh, the important thing here to learn is that it, you just compare with that last EKG we did, where it mostly was ST depression. So ST depressions are more indicative of uh, subendocardial injury and ischemia, but this is indicative of an acute blockage, no blood going to that area of the heart. And this is truly indicative of an acute heart attack or STEMI patient immediately to cath lab. This particular patient had two blockages that had to be opened up with stents and, um, and the patient did very, very well. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on EKG interpretation of a SD segment elevation MI. Uh, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching and for other videos go to www.dr.er.tv